All right, just a quick video on my tools that I used. If you watch some of my other videos, I've talked about running the tiller through here. Of course, I borrowed that from my neighbor. I don't have one. So, like I said, I'm a good neighbor. I filled it up with gas before I took it back. So, anyway, the tools that I actually have that I'm using is my, my trusty hoe right here. Use that on a daily basis. Love getting out here holding around. I've used this rake several times in here, you know, for soil spread and that sort of thing. Shovel, of course, you know, do a lot of digging, that sort of thing. It's a good luck bee. I don't know if it'll land. All right, so anyway, shovel for that. Now, uh, this little thing right here, I don't even know what it's called. I use it for like a pitchfork and that sort of thing. Uh, and I just got this wand. I think I haven't even used it yet, but I think it's going to be great for, you know, just being able to walk around in water. I think it's going to save my back a lot of trouble. Uh, this is what I use to spread my America Girl with. It holds two gallons. I put two scoops of this off in there, give it a few pumps, and I spray right around the base, all around, and I spray in between the plants just because I got it. But that two gallons will spread over the entire, entire crop here. And when I do the corn, I use two gallons and I spray the entire crop with it. Corn's on a 14 day cycle, watermelons are on a seven day cycle. And I'm thinking about putting these tomato plants on a seven day cycle, just to see. Um, that's what I use that for. Here's my aphid control right here for my watermelons. Here's my fungicide treatment and preventative treatment. blood meal i put this in everything everything's had a bit of blood meal put in right around where it's at and covered up a little bit right up above it on everything there's been blood meal put off in here on every plant blood meal and tomatoes america grow of course and i use this basically for ants um i've noticed a lot of ants out here running through the garden and Use that for my ants. American grow, of course, the top soil. I'm gonna put some more of that in between on my watermelon rows. Keeps that. It keeps washing away. Anyway, my pot and mix is what my tomatoes are sitting in. I use the gardening soil to mix off and then some hummus manure. Mix and my 13, 13, 13. Bought these little pins right here. Home Depot, $10 a pop. Seeds all came from Walmart. The plants right there that I bought came from Walmart. Home Depot, Home Depot. Buckets, Home Depot. But yeah, this is what I got and this is what I put in it, pretty much. And I, I had a rake and a shovel. I didn't have a good hoe. So I had to go get me a good hoe. And it's great. This hoe has worked great for me. But alright, that's my stuff. Oh, and hemp line. I bought some hemp line also. I also use that to tie up right there. I mentioned my hemp line. I got it tore down right now, but I think it's actually helped keep some animals out of here. Just a little bear that's not the cat. The cat done ran all through it and, but, but yeah there it is that's what i got little two by fours i staked into the ground this dirt is so it was so loose down here everything just goes in so easily it's great soil good good black dirt good rich rich soil yeah that's my stuff i use this tarp several times uh, to cover up the spot for the watermelon before I actually planted and now I'm using it to cover up my grass hot compost that should be done in 18 days or about three weeks I'll do a video on a hot compost for y'all I've had this one going for about seven days now 
and I'm going to turn it in the morning and I'm going to do a video on that and talk about that a little bit. So there it is. That's all my stuff in a nutshell. It's not a whole lot. I don't have a whole lot of money invested in it. I got to get two more of these to go down here. I got to figure out some more stakes and I need to put some stakes in here and weave them through because that's just too loose for my liking right there. So I need to secure them a little better and I'll figure that out. But this is what I got. Um, this is what I got invested in money for all this stuff. First year doing it. So of course I had to get a lot more than what a second year person would have to get. And there it is, good stuff. Everything's going great. Right now I don't have any problems. Everything's looking great. The uh, plot gets about eight hours of sun a day. Uh, coming in the rising sun, the sun rises right over here. So it starts right in there. And it carries on this path right here and it don't start blotting out till it gets right around in there. And there it is right there. And I'm filming kind of late in the day, it's 4.07.